Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're going to be building a little bit of a bigger build. It's not really all that big. It's only like three bedrooms and three bathrooms. But it's on a 40 by 30 lot. And this build actually took me like three and a half, almost four hours. So that's why I did cut out a little bit more of this build than I normally would. But yeah, we're going to be building a flower farm today. And this is a build that I've been working on, or I haven't been working on it, but I started it a like really, really long time ago. I started this build in like January of 2019. And I just went back and finished it like in mid-June, I think. Like more to towards the end of June of this year not last year this year so yeah it sat like unfinished in my game for over a year and i just decided you know what i really like it i really like the idea behind it and i really want to post it and i mean by the time i went back to it so i started it in january of last year and i did most of the exterior i did some of the interior and then for whatever reason i just left it and I just never went back to it. And I, just, I found this in my game the other day. And I just decided, you know what? It's one of those builds that I started. And I really like the idea of. And I have like most of it finished already. So why don't I just finish it? But yeah, I mean, that thought meant... <laughs> you know, you think that, you know, you have most of it finished. So, you know, it, it'll be quick. You'll just go in and furnish the second floor and like one or two rooms on the first floor that weren't completely done and that'll be it but you know knowing me it's been like over a year since i start when i started this build and we've gotten like seven packs in you know the span of you know january last year to now we've gotten seven packs we've also gotten updates like the stair update and the free window and door up like not door update the free placement for windows and doors and stuff like that. We've gotten all of those updates. We've also gotten, I believe we got the debug update around the time I think university came out. So yeah, we've gotten the debug, the show live edit objects cheat. We got that update. So it's it's been quite a while since I built this. And yeah, we've gotten a lot of new things and a lot of new features and things that we can do. So I ended up spending about like two hours some of it is on camera, but a lot of it is just off camera that I spent fixing this house because the way it's looking right now, it, it's not the way I wanted it to look. And it's one of those builds where you had this like very specific idea and you try and do it in The Sims and it just doesn't turn out exactly like quite right. So yeah, I do go back in. Obviously, when I found this build and started working on it again, I went back in, spent all that time trying to fix it, and I do end up changing around, I ended up changing around the wallpapers, all of the windows. I mean, I didn't change the shape of the build, but I do change the roof up a little bit, I change up the wallpapers, I change up the, like, windows, like I said, some of it is, I think, on camera, others, it's just off camera. And then I also change up some of the flowers that you guys will see in the front yard. And I didn't really record me placing any of the flowers in the first place because it'll it, it took me a long, like very long time. Everywhere that you guys see me place down dirt right now, you got right now we're on the like finished product. Almost finished, but yeah, this was before we had the debug sheet, the show live edit objects sheet. So these are just the flowers that you can find in the regular build catalog. When I go back in and I start working on it again, you guys will see that I do use some debug plants and all of that. So yeah, this is still like the old footage. <laughs> but around I think like 7 minutes 40 seconds or something like that into the video, that's when we like cut out and not you it won't be like a big cut or anything, but we jump from like the interior of the house way back to the exterior and you guys will see me change up some of the flowers and stuff like that on the exterior and I think that's when you you'll also see you know the changes that I've made to the like exterior of the build to the windows and stuff or I can't remember if I show that in the recording I can't exactly remember I know I recorded it 
but then I went ahead and edited out a lot of the like really repetitive and repetitive bits and bits of me just being indecisive because like I said this was like four like almost four hours of footage there three and a half to almost four hours of footage when I was done with it and that wasn't even including me going in and playing around with the windows and all of that that I did off camera so the video once I had it sped up was about 30 minutes and we already know how I feel about doing 30 minute voiceovers I just don't do them <laughs> But yeah, I actually have a video that's currently, I believe, like 50 minutes or something that I need to edit down somehow to hopefully get it to be like under 30 minutes because I don't want to do a 50 minute voiceover. And there's no way that I'm going to be able to like split it into part one and part two just because of how I build. You guys will know this by now if you're like a regular viewer on the channel. I tend to jump around a lot when I build so I'll start on the exterior and finish the shape and the windows and stuff and like the wallpapers and stuff and then I'll go inside furnish the build and then go back outside and detail the house and do the landscaping and stuff like that so that's why I can never really easily like split my builds into an exterior and an interior bit so that I could do like two part videos if the build is super long but yeah, also, I just don't like doing two-part voice, like two-part builds. That's just me for some reason. I also don't really like watching two-part speed builds. I mean, let's builds are something completely different. Let's builds, I don't mind mind watching like three or four parts of a let's build, for example. But speed builds, I feel like I just prefer them to all be in like one thing. Because I, I, otherwise I just forget what I've done and if I were to do them myself I would forget what I talked about in like the first voiceover and it would just be a complete mess and really I don't need anything more like chaotic in my videos because recently especially my voiceovers have been completely all over the place and honestly I don't know why you guys even listen to me at this point. But yeah, so this build, to tell you guys a little bit about the build before I get too off topic, that like I said, this is a three bedroom, three bathroom build, and yeah, right, as you guys can see right now, we've jumped outside and we're like mixing up the flowers a little bit. I replaced some of the flowers with some lavender plants, and yeah, it's just, I really like the way it turned out, and also I have to redo the terrain paint, because the game decided to delete my, der my terrain paint, which is great. That bug has been in the game since I think Cats and Dogs came out in 2018. No, it wasn't 2018, it was 2017. Yeah, Cats and Dogs came out in 2017. So yeah, it's been in the game for that long, and it's still not fixed. But anyway... But yeah, you guys will see that I do switch up some of the windows for the, like, island living, like, sliding windows and glass windows. And I believe some of the, I believe I leave other, all of the other windows on the house the same. Honestly, I can't remember. We'll just have to watch and find out together. But basically, this house got off, off topic. <laughs> this house is supposed to be a little bit of a farmhouse. It's not really like a farmhouse shape or anything like that it was just an idea i had in my head of doing a like flower farm build so yeah basically the flower farm was the whole principle and the whole like idea behind this build <laughs> honestly the house itself is just a house that i decided would look good with all of the flowers in the front and that's it <laughs> But yeah, so we have this modern extension bit on the side that I do end up putting the new corrugated metal type like wallpaper on that we got from Eco Lifestyle, that one, that red one. So I wanted to make that look like a proper modern extension. So we have this really older house. As you guys can see, I have changed up the windows and the wallpaper and all of that. But we have this like really old house in Windenburg. This is built in Windenburg, if you couldn't tell. But yeah, we have this really old house and then we have this modern extension to the side of it with the like solar panels and the glass roof and all of that. So yeah, that's kind of my idea for this build. And then we also, we don't have all that much of a backyard because most of the house, like most of the lot is spent on the front yard and all of the plants and stuff. So 
the backyard just has this little platform area with some planters some table and chairs and a grill and some like couches it's not very all that like interesting it's one of my like plainer backyards i guess but yeah we've jumped back to the interior and you guys will see that now i'm going through and i'm fixing up a little bit of you know the things that i have done already and then also going through and finishing the dining room and the downstairs study and then going upstairs where the three bedrooms are as well as the I turned the like upstairs hallway area because the upstairs hallway is really really big it's more like a bonus room type thing so I do turn that into kind of like a family space so there's a foosball table a couch a dollhouse for the child that I thought would live here as well as another computer some bookcases and I think I add an activity table upstairs as well for the child because the I did have some sims in mind when I bought this and the child's room which is obviously one of the three bedrooms their room isn't all that big so I couldn't you know fit all that much in their bedroom so they just have a bed a desk a dresser and a toy box in their room but they have like I said a dollhouse and an activity table and all of that stuff in the like bonus room slash hallway area and then the other sims that I thought would live here would be obviously the parents. I didn't really think of like a backstory for them or like what they would do as a living. I mean obviously I'm thinking one of them might be into like gardening or something. I mean we do have the planter boxes outside in the backyard and then obviously you could delete some of the flowers in the front to like place some actual harvestable plants in there if you really wanted to. But yeah I didn't really think of a super personalized story for the parents normally when I do build the master bedroom is just you know it kind of goes along with the overall theme of the house so it's very neutral some blues and I think I used some yellows as well and obviously I wanted to use a lot of the new eco lifestyle things so I used the new bed the one that looks a little bit more rustic and I used obviously the plant I'm using that plant in literally every board that I do <laughs> both the like really big floor plant and the table one I love those plants so much and then the other bedroom that we have actually is a teenager's room I thought she would I thought it would be a girl obviously I thought both of the kids would be girls that's just how I decorated it but obviously you could have whatever sim in this house that you wanted to have in this house and you can like mix up the colors if you don't like the color scheme of the bedroom or something like that but yeah, so this is the teenager's room that we're working on right now using another one of the eco lifestyle beds because I love them and I'm probably going to overuse them a lot <laughs> before I get tired of them. But I thought this teenager would be really into gaming. So she does have a like gaming laptop at her desk. I didn't want to give her like a big gaming computer because I did want her to have somewhere to do her like homework and stuff. You know, thinking realistically. In the sims they would usually just whip out their homework and do it wherever they are in the moment but I was thinking you know realistically and but I do give her a flat screen TV and a gaming system in her bedroom so she also has a couch and everything so I thought she would love having her friends over and they could you know game a little game together or whatever or something like that but yeah so that's her bedroom and I did give the room a very bright color scheme so I used these orange curtains from eco lifestyle I've never really used orange curtains it's I love using orange accents in my builds but I don't think I've ever really used orange curtains until we got these ones from eco lifestyle and I love them and they really go well with the like orange couch and the like little orange like pillow on her bed. So her bedroom is basically orange and yellow. Not orange and yellow. What am I saying? It's I didn't use orange. I used yellow. What am I saying? Yellow and purple. I goodness. But anyway, and then we have the child's bedroom which is also yellow and purple. But whereas the teenager is a little bit more muted, her, like the yellow in her room is a little bit more muted and the purple is like a light, light lilac color, the child's bedroom is the complete opposite. I took inspiration from that bed from kids room stuff 
and I went like bright, bright yellow. I use some bright yellow accent walls in her bedroom and then I use these like really bright purple like like ch the chair and the bed obviously. I don't think I use a bright purple on the walls but I use a really nice light purple on the walls as well so yeah very purple. I think they're both very similar but I did think the child would be a little bit more into crafts and doing like school projects and kind of like tinkering and inventing stuff so I did put a few of the completed school projects around the house as well especially in like the upstairs bonus room type thing you guys will see that in a second once we get to it but yeah that's basically this whole house you guys I mean if we only have about like what five not five minutes like three minutes four minutes left of this build and honestly I can't believe I've comp I've done this whole voiceover almost because I've already recorded two other voiceovers today those builds you guys will have already seen just for context I'm recording this on Friday and I think it's like the third or something right I can't I don't know what date it is but yeah it's, I'm currently recording this on Friday and you guys won't be seeing this until sometime next week but I've literally just been spending all day editing videos and doing vo like those two voiceovers and editing the videos and all of that stuff and I've been listening to Hamilton the soundtrack Hamilton I've listened to it a bunch of times before but I've listened to it just today I've listened to it like completely through twice already <laughs> I'm on my third listen of the soundtrack and then once I'm done with the videos that I want to record tonight I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the Hamilton movie, the actual like movie of Hamilton that they recently put up on Disney Plus. I'm going to be watching that <laughs> and I'm so excited because it's literally the first time that I'm seeing Hamilton performed because like you guys know I'm from South Africa so we don't really have stuff like like we don't really have all of the like Broadway shows that you guys have in like America and the UK and all of those places where Hamilton has been performed like in theaters we don't really have that over here so yeah I never thought I would get to see it but luckily they have put it up on Disney Plus so I'm going to be watching that because honestly I can't even express to you how excited I am but by the time you guys are seeing this video I will have probably watched it multiple multiple times and cried about it multiple times because every time I even just listen to Hamilton I always end up crying so I can imagine that actually seeing the original cast performing it is definitely going to make me cry so that's gonna be fun but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this build if you did give it a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims 4 speed builds and some other speed builds and other Sims content Feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, with all of that said, we're almost done with this video, so I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you all in my very next video. Bye guys!